this Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sleep Chief is going to have this amazing Dia Bell Star Witch deck box. And I will say, the design that they have going for this is some of the most unique that I've had the chance to actually see. And the inside of this deck box is really going to excite you. The dividers are absolutely gorgeous. And you're going to want to pick this up. They also have a play map to go with this as well. So I will leave a link down below. Also, you guys can pick up some sleeves. Remember, discount code MCO40 can save you on your purchase this Sunday. Now let's pass on over to Market Watch. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. See you guys thumbs up more all content as guys leave a comment down below when you'll be walking away with a boost pack. We've been doing it every single one of these market watches. So I hope you guys will continue to tell me what you guys think about the market. So relinquished fusion. I uh, I don't know what has brought this one on. I can't think of anything out here really too interesting with this. But I saw 16 listings for this print. I was like, huh? $7? $8 a copy? Like, what in the world? It, this, this has not had a large swing of sales, actually. It's just naturally low on listings for this version. I mean, considering the fact this is from Ancient Millennium, we'll talk more about that here in a second, but um, I also want to point out back here that the reprints for these, um, these are all 34, 42, 35. You don't have a lot of listings for Relinquished Fusion right now. And I um, I really don't know what's causing this. So I just wanted to point out here that if you have been debating on picking up a Relinquished Fusion for whatever reason that you could possibly have out here, Keep an eye on these. I also wanted to deep dive back here into Ancient Millennium. It's been a very long time. Oh, yes, the Toon Kingdom Millennium Rares. Ah, good stuff. I also love the fact that that pops up for some reason. Uh, your Ancient Megaton Cannon back here is now $10 as well. Millennium Eyes Illusionist is 4 to 5 The Armored Dragon Catapult is also up. Desperado Dragon is now 3 to $4. Ancient Gear Fusion from this set is $8 as well. Wow, the original prints for this set, um, they might not look like a lot. Even the Millennium Eyes is up to like $3. The Mimikat is also going up? What in the world? Ojo Simulation is still running at $2? Wow, I... Wow, the Ancient Gear frame from this set is also up right now. Wow, I... If I were you, I would pay attention to this old set. This is literally like one of the best remaining duels packs that exist in the course of the game. And I, I genuinely, that's kind of crazy to actually see boxes for this at 500 on up to 1200. LOL, LOL. Ah, Ragna Zero. Now, I don't know if you've been paying attention to this card because I certainly haven't been. But evidently, as we're kind of heading on in to the next water set, people for some reason have a theory out here that this is uh, gonna be worth something. And to be honest with you, this card doesn't have crazy sales data. It's just naturally been, a lot of these low quantity cards, it's not that they have been bought out. It's just, they had really low listings over the course of, you know, five, six years. And then as time goes on, you know, they're getting slashed more and more in terms of people just picking them up and they slowly disappearing off the market. And that's what you're seeing here. Um, there is also like an application, I think, with Valmonica to try to play this card. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not too sure on that. My friend was talking to me, but I was like, yeah, you can use this with Valmonica. And it's like... I mean, I guess, but it, I don't see huge sales swings on this. Even, like, the Rare only has 25 listings for this. To be fair, though, this card did have a lot of... It did have a lot of playability for its era. I remember this was one of the go-to monsters to try to play. But I'm also... Not only does it have a little bit of utility for some of the, you know, being able to pop things whose attack is different from the original and get a free draw, but... You've also got to keep in mind, you do have future support coming down the pipeline for water, so it makes sense for this to kind of be on the option watch list. Ah, speaking of the watch list of things out here, our dear friend Shark Drake Vice. I am, I absolutely love the fact this card has like zero sales data, except for you had somebody buying a first dead back here on 424, and then 417 was your last sales. If you believe 
Now this card is going to get some sort of support. I mean, we do know Rage of the Abyss is the next set. Who knows? But you're dealing with a you're dealing with basically number 32 Shark Drake out here. So who knows? They could make a turbo way to pick this up, and this card could suddenly be worth something. I don't know. Ultimate rares are 350. That's hilarious. You still get a German version for five dollars out here. Shark Drake itself coming in actually like four to five dollars. This is one of the nicer ultimate rares. Uh, the German version out here still five dollars. Meanwhile, you can get the Star Pack Starfoil for a dollar, and then more ultras coming in at dollars. Wow. This thing also had a gold rare. I forgot about that. Interesting. Well, that's your Shark Drake looking. Hey, everybody, Morganites are five dollars. <laughs> uh, somebody you just bought six for five forty-four. I guess they wanted play sets just to make sure that they could actually play them, but solidly across the board, six, five, six, five, five, yeah, somebody bought one for ten, another for ten. Gotta love the international sales out here. <sighs> NLG has, you can get 25 copies at um, $6 a piece, I suppose. Gotta love the bulk going right there. But hey, you know what? We all know how good Morganite is. We've all seen the course of the power that getting a draw to every one of your turns is, as long as you can sit on a floodgate to get the game back to your turn. Okay. Um, Valmonica cards. Uh, so this was mentioned by a YouTuber earlier in the week, and, uh, we saw, well, the Valmonica cards go sideways. And uh, for now, I mean, you're looking at 43, 42. Uh, Skeleta here still at 45. Um, Demano here at, well, 30. It's not terrible. Uh, your field spill coming in at 23, okay. Uh, Skeleta at $9 for the regular. Those have repopulated. Unfortunately, your field spill has not had a lot of time to repopulate. You're still looking at about $7 to $8. And good news. Skeleton from the new set, Light of Your Legacy here, actually coming in at about a solid dollar. You're probably going to see this drop a little bit more. But once again, I mean, you've got people out here that are looking at this stuff going, hey, you know, we want to see this stuff actually have some sort of value. And, I mean, understandable. Ah, Labyrinth cards. Lady Lab still 180 for the good old Starlight Rare. Quarter Century welcomes. Ah, still up there. 116. Lady Lab Quarter Centuries, $76. Arius actually is down to 70 right now. It's actually kind of insane. Ariana's coming in at 70s. Those have tanked. Lovely's coming in at 43s, to be fair. One of them. Big Welcome Ultis coming in at about 30s. Arias, 20 bucks. Big Welcomes, 19s. Sure. Labyrinth Labyrinth's coming in at 17s. So pretty normal stuff, I feel like, across the board here. For this, Arius is actually still a $17 secret rare. Wow. I think that is probably the, you know, I guess next to Big Welcome. But yeah, most of your Labyrinth stuff still definitely cruise controlling along. <sighs> the price of Nemesis cards. Now, I, I do want to point out here, um, we shouldn't be too surprised to see Corridor still kind of floating around the, the six-ish dollar mark. I feel like, I feel like this really hasn't changed all that much. Um, in terms of your value. Uh, Nemesis Flag back here, still a $3 card. Keystone, poor guy, nobody really cares about him. And Umbrella, nice 17 cents. But the big man himself, the Arch Nemesis Protos. This card is actually falling pretty hard. You're down to a solid $30 right now for this. I mean, you did have some sales in the last day or so, pushing 32, 35, 40, 31. Yeah, this thing's this thing's moving around a lot. I don't really think that's much of an issue. Um, I just think that, you know, not having a reprint for, you know, the, the floodgate that people want to try to have fun with out here is a little bit rough. No, oh, Thunder Dragon Titan. You know, we've looked at Thunder Dragon Dark. We've looked at Colossus. We all know that these cards have gained, you know, huge X, just huge numbers in the upper direction. But when you look at this right now, I will tell you, I, I was just curious to see how our friend's doing. You're still looking at about three-ish dollars. And then Titans coming in about sixes for the top end of things. Once again, am I surprised about this? No. You really shouldn't be either. The Thunder Dragon hype right now is actually insane. And Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chills, huh? You can get some Starlights still for 145, 145, 148. Spanish copies for 150s, but English is going to cost you a fresh 200 big ones. 
yeah, that's a lot of money to be throwing around out here. But, you know, it's fine. If you like your high-end cards, it's perfectly acceptable. So, what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below. One of you be walking away with a booster pack, and I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.